And you might have heard the term flu rona floating around in recent days. Yeah, and it describes someone who has both COVID as well as the flu. Two News reporter Kelly King is asking questions about how common it actually is. The term is made up, but the concept is not. While there is no medical term flu rona, doctors say people can contract the flu and COVID-19 both at the same time. While it's not common, it can happen. And when diagnosed with both the flu and COVID-19, doctors with Kettering Health say there's a greater risk. And the concern there is they might be additive to each other. And both of those viruses have potential to kill someone, especially older people and people with chronic medical illnesses, morbid obesity, uh, or Im immunologic uh, compromise. Dr. Jeffrey Weinstein says when COVID first hit in the spring of 2020, flu season was already in full swing, and there were patients with both. But last winter, there were very few flu cases. It was the first time we really had no influenza epidemic to speak of ever. And the thought there was that it was because everyone was wearing masks and social distancing. Doctors say symptoms for the flu and COVID are very similar and can complicate things, which is why testing is so important. We have rapid uh, COVID tests. We have rapid influenza tests. And then we also have more sophisticated tests where you can do one nasal swab and detect not only SARS-CoV-2 and influenza A and B, but a variety of other viral respiratory pathogens. Because COVID is much more prevalent, doctors recommend testing for that first. If a COVID test is negative, then you might want to test for the flu. While it can be hard to tell them apart without testing, doctors say the prevention is the same for both. We recommend vaccination for both. Masks, of course, work for both. Keeping your distance from people, particularly if they're having a cough or having symptoms. Doctors say right now it's too early to predict exactly what our flu season will look like, but we should know more in the coming weeks. Reporting in Kettering, Kelly King, 2 News, working for you.